Hello, this is Dr. Brett J. Pendergrass with the Animal Hospital of Statesville. Early in 2021, I began offering a surgical procedure for the treatment of cranial cruciate ligament injury in medium to large dogs called the Modified McKay Procedure, or MMP. In an earlier video, I introduced the procedure, and today I would like to share with you the progression of post-surgical rehabilitation of an MMP surgery completed here earlier this year. To review the MMP, pictured here is a model of the stifle or knee joint of a dog. At top, we have the femur or the lone thigh bone. Below the tibia, similar to our shin bone. The patella or the kneecap. And it's associated patella tendon that attaches the large quadriceps muscle to the front of the tibia bone. The MMP is a type of tibial advancement surgery that with the implantation of a titanium foam wedge, a bone pin and a bone staple advances the front of the tibia where the patellar tendon attaches to the bone and along with the strong quadriceps muscle stabilizes the stifle joint after cranial cruciate injury. Our patient, Darby, is a 10 year old spayed female treen walker hound that presented to us for left cruciate rupture that was diagnosed at her regular veterinarian. First, we have a video of her walking pre-surgery. As you can see, she is reluctant to put full weight on her left hind leg and does not bend her stifle or knee. This is a common presentation with, the, with a dog with a cruciate ligament injury. Next, we have our patient's preoperative radiograph. As before, you can see the femur above, the tibia below, the red arrows indicate the stifle joint. Preoperative radiographs are used to evaluate the stifle joint for signs of joint damage and osteoarthritis formation. The radiographs are also used to complete preoperative planning and measurements for the upcoming MMP surgery. Next, we have the post-surgical radiograph. The titanium wedge, bone pin, and staple have been surgically inserted into the tibia. The post-surgical radiograph is used to ensure proper placement of the MMP implants. Now we have our patient two days post MMP surgery. Some cruciate surgeries require strict rest after surgery, but because the MMP uses the strength of the quadriceps muscle to stabilize the stifle or knee joint, controlled exercise begins shortly after surgery to ensure the quadriceps does not lose muscle mass during recovery. Our patient is restricted to short leash walks during this period, but is placing some weight on her left hind leg. Next is one week post-surgery. Our patient is placing increasing weight on the limb and has started to bend the stifle. At two weeks post-surgery, our patient is continuing to increase weight on her left hind leg and is slowly continuing to bend her left stifle more. At three weeks post-surgery, our patient's limping is notably reduced and the stifle flexion continues to improve. At four weeks post-surgery, our patient is walking much more comfortably. Her lameness is much less noticeable at this point. Exercises increase to multiple and longer leash walks. At six weeks post-surgery, our patient is not quite back to normal, but continues to improve. At this point, at a six week follow-up appointment, a radiograph is taken to assess the stifle joint and the MMP implants. As seen here, all implants are stable and the bone is healing well. So our patient will be given the go ahead to increase exercise and start moderate off-leash exercise. Our patient has now graduated to trotting exercise. Her limping is much less noticeable and she is bending her stifle much more readily. This next clip is before her trot workout.
And this clip is after her trotting workout. Now, six plus weeks after surgery, she was using her left hind leg essentially normally with little to no limping. And now she has graduated to all fleece exercise and is doing great. What's going on? Are, are, are we going to get our x-ray? Are you excited about going to get your x-ray to see if you can be off the leash? You're a good girl. Darby continues to do well after surgery. I want to thank Darby for being a great patient and the Simpsons for their excellent post-surgical care and rehabilitation. And a special thank you for allowing me to share these videos of Darby post-MMP surgery. Over the past year, we have had great results with our patients who have received MMP surgery for cruciate injury. This video shows the progression of the rehabilitation for MMP surgery, which is typically shorter than other surgical methods. If you are interested in learning more about MMP surgery for your pet, please contact us at the Animal Hospital of Statesville at ahofstatesville.com or 704-872-3625. Thank you.